Good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining me on this late night video. It looks like, uh, you know, we're in a pattern of doing these late night uh, shoots from the inside of the Bull TV for a while, just because of the situation of my going to training for most of the day and then working uh, the, the jobs between, uh, you know, the end of the class and then somewhere in the night. I'm still in the car, uh, haven't gotten out yet. I parked. Uh, the only thing I did was I did plug it in because I wanted to make sure that this thing uh, got to its, uh, you know, target charge level before I went to bed tonight. But um, anyway, thank you for joining me. I wanted to quickly point out uh, an interesting conversation that that was held last night by a good buddy of mine and myself. He's a fellow EV owner and... Uh, he uh, pointed out, pointed me to actually this topic, and I had some time earlier, you know, during break and whatnot, to try to research this a little bit. And turns out that Chevy's about to release two more uh, EVs, and uh, they're on their way quickly. Looks like uh, the Chevy Equinox EV and the Blazer EV are going to make a debut in 2023. It doesn't say when in 2023. And also, they haven't really uh, formally discussed the pricing of the Blazer EV. They did say that the Equinox EV will have a starting point, a starting price point of about thirty thousand dollars, which put which puts it right in line with the Bolt EV and the Bolt EV. Um, now, the first thing that kind of came to mind, and, and my buddy and I were kind of, you know, talking about this last night, is would that step right there would it cause a problem for the bolt ev bolt euv specifically i don't know it's all speculation for me um i have not heard anything i don't think that it would wow this is what i was talking about you know if you're sitting in your car you turn everything off you close the doors even if you have the switch on manually the lights just turn off so remember that if you're shooting video in your car at least have the ignition on because <laughs> otherwise the car will think you just left the light on and then it'll turn the light off for you so apologies for that stay on you hear me good where was i okay so you know i guess the only thing we can do is just wait until um you know, time kind of passes and the the timeline for these two vehicles kind of matures when it comes to the release of them. You know, I don't know what they're, what they're, where they're at with them, but they did say specifically that both SUVs will hit dealers in 2023, which mind you, 2023 is already less than a year in. So, or less than a year away, I should say. And I don't know. I guess we will just have to see how this plays out. I'm curious. Uh, you know, I had uh, I had another conversation. This is kind of a side note with uh, a complete stranger. Uh, this was kind of one of those parking lot conversations where we briefly talked about the recall. And this person was, it wasn't concerned. It wasn't like the initial parking lot conflict that I actually had. But this was more of a, you know, how do you feel about the Bolt EV? And I was really impressed because this person was driving um, an ICE vehicle. And I think they were trying to get an idea as to what my experience with this car was. And, and I mentioned, you know, the recall and we talked about it a little bit and, um, kind of the pain points and the pros and cons to owning this vehicle. And I told this gentleman the truth, you know, I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that this is one of the most reliable cars that I've ever owned. You know, to have it for a year already, actually more than a year, it's been a year and a month now, almost 14 months, to have a car that doesn't need anything other than, you know, tire rotation and maybe a filter replacement for the, for the air filter. You can't beat that. 
you know, with the fact that we have solar on our home and I have a lot of, uh, you know, credits with the utility uh, because I generate more uh, electricity with my panels than I actually use. So I get a lot of uh, free energy back in, in with regards to credits. And those credits essentially charge this car. So right now this car is plugged in. It has an hour to go. And that hour of energy essentially is free because I overgenerated today. The sun was out. It was warm. It was it was very sunny. I, yeah, I basically charge my car for free here at home. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of other logistics included in it where, you know, okay, you pay for solar panels, you pay for the system, the inverters, the the monitoring, uh, you know, equipment that's on the wall on the side of my house, et cetera, et cetera. So there is a, you know, a two-sided argument whether or not it's really free or not. But you know what? When it comes to the car, when it comes to this vehicle, it doesn't really matter if I paid for the electricity that goes into this car or not, because it is significantly less. It is a fraction of the cost of what it was for me to drive either a diesel powered or a gasoline powered vehicle on the streets of Los Angeles. And I mean that wholeheartedly. I cannot compare, you know, the, the 18 plus thousand dollar savings in the one year of ownership. The, the, the amount of fuel that I was literally just pouring into, um, I guess the exhaust, because it never really stuck around long enough to be in the gas tank or in the, or in the fuel lines that go to the car. It, it was always like this. It was a revolving door. I basically had every uh, frequent shopper's card for every gas station that you can think of, you know, especially the ones that sold diesel. I had, um, I even had, uh, truck stop cards for, for, you know, diesel, um, gas stations at truck stops just because why not? And the fuel was cheaper there too. So anyway, to, to, you know, I apologize for going down that, that tangent, but the bull TV and, and this conversation that I had with this gentleman, um, you know, the Bull TV is a great vehicle, you know, granted it's marred, it's scarred by the recall. It has, um, a very bitter, uh, public opinion in most cases, but you know what? I don't care. I've said it before. I'll stand by this Bolt EV any day. This is my absolute favorite car. I have a hard time getting into my wife's RAV4 that's actually parked right next to me here. Um, just because, you know, I feel more confident in this car. I feel like, uh, you know, just the way, you know, with the, with the one pedal driving, you let go of the gas pedal in her car, the car keeps going. <laughs> in some cases, it speeds up if you're going downhill. In my case, I generate some power. So anyway, I'm not going to bore you guys uh, anymore. I've, I've said my piece. As always, the comment section is open down below. Uh, please strike up a conversation. I always love uh, listening and reading what you guys have to say. And, uh, you know, we'll start up a conversation. In the meantime, uh, please forgive me for, for these short, uh, you know, videos. I try to do, um, you know, more creative content, a little bit better shooting and whatnot uh, during the day when there's light, not in this situation where the lights randomly turn off. Um, but in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great evening. And until next time, thank you for watching.